in in the ancient knowledge what you'll find is is you'll find the the weave uh the whole process of weaving as being the most um instrumental at understanding the connection that everything has and so if you look at the the actual loom itself as the cosmos what you'll see is that you have strings going in a vertical direction and you have strings going into the horizontal direction and the strings going into the horizontal direction are known as the warp and then the strings going in the in the vertical direction are known as the wet and the warp are and this is all ancient terms you know this is indigenous people they were seeing it before einstein and everybody else that's supposedly intelligent and they had it down to just the loom and how that operates and what you saw is is that the the warp were the people and the weft were the connections or the things that occur that connect people together situations and circumstances so when we just take that loom and then we kind of blow that into a into cosmic proportions what we find is that every single thing no matter what it is is connected and interwoven with something and those connections and those that interweaving actually creates the fabric of the reality that we exist in which is very net like on all levels so what happens then is as far as the the next question which was you know definitely uh, in tune with the first question is when we then look at the periodic table what the periodic table is is it's an attempt to explain in a logical way how those connections actually are how they change and where there's a change and 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 this is to basically to um to be able to map out what space and time different life forms and different inorganic and inorganic are actually in and what their composition their compositions actually create kind of like the segment of that circle that they come in on and so again you find a lot of of magical properties involved in in this kind of work because it's just taking a look deeper at things in a metaphysical way finding the connections and the correspondences to things that resonate with one another figuring out what segment in the circle that they actually come in and then kind of lining everything up in this circular pattern that gives you a, a web uh, or, or a blanket of what life actually looks like for you and so of course you have many cultures that create mandalas that have that same purpose um, we find there's a lot in different kinds of languages and different kind of activities like zodiac uh, which is the course pull from the language of the stars that has that same kind of connotation so this is exactly what we're talking about